Good morning. Man, it feels good to be back. Now, I know I promised you my review of The Rise of Skywalker, and I'll get to that in a minute, but I gotta get coffee first. My thoughts on Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. I had a lot of fun, right? I mean, it's not perfect, obviously, but it was fun to watch. Went to see it last night with my friend and his nephew, and we had a great time. There are legitimate cri criticisms. Yes, it's not a perfect movie, but I wasn't expecting it to be a perfect movie, right? It's a Disney-produced Star Wars movie. I don't expect Disney-produced Star Wars movies to be groundbreaking or artistic or take a lot of creative risks because, frankly, that doesn't make Disney much money, right? What I expect from a Disney-produced Star Wars movie is that it's fun to watch, and, generally speaking, what people want from a Star Wars movie like that is blasters and lightsabers and a ragtag group of heroes saving the universe after all hope seems lost. And that's exactly what we got. And it was, I think, a fitting conclusion to the new Star Wars trilogy. Like, I liked it better than The Last Jedi. I definitely liked it better than The Last Jedi, that's for sure. Not, it didn't go out of its way, but it definitely on purpose tried to fix some of the things that people didn't like about The Last Jedi. Some certain plot elements and things that, you know, certain people didn't really like. And I, I didn't mind that. I liked it. it. Does it feel like Star Wars? I don't know. Is that even really a relevant question to ask? Again, I don't know. But, for what it was, it was good and I liked it. As I said before, it wasn't like artistic or taking a lot of creative risks, but if I want artistic and creative risks, I don't expect that from a Disney movie. Because Disney, as you probably know, wants to make a lot of money. And artistry and creative risks don't necessarily make a lot of money unless you know, unless they turn out to be popular, but there's a risk that they they might not. So I think that was their, like, primary concern, was making a movie that people aren't going to hate, and it's fun to watch, and I think, I think they were successful with that. Now, obviously, this is kind of a, a symptom of a bigger problem with the movie industry where big studios in general, nobody wants to take any creative risks or make anything that's like artistic and groundbreaking because there's a risk that it won't make a whole lot of money. And then if it doesn't make a whole lot of money, then, you know, the studio doesn't make money. The studio needs to make money to survive. So everyone's making remakes and sequels to established franchises that are safe and predictable and you know that's another rant for another time but yeah so those are some of my thoughts hopefully that was somehow coherent and I can edit this into a you know coherent review but yeah uh, yeah I definitely want to start doing more of these like mini movie reviews like, just take a few minutes out of a vlog episode every once in a while, maybe like once a month, to talk about a movie for a few minutes. So if you liked it, obviously comment and tell me like what other movies you'd want to see me talk about. Anything interesting that's coming up. Yeah, see you guys at home. Bye.
Hey, let me out, bud. Hey. Sorry about not posting a vlog last week. It was the end of the last week of classes and right before finals week. So it was a very stressful time and I guess I was also just kind of feeling uninspired. So, yeah. You guys hear that? I don't know if you guys heard that. It sounded like a bunch of dogs or coyotes or something just yapping like crazy. And they're doing it again. Coyotes? Maybe. You'll find comfort there in Norway, where the moon dies. You can find me when the lights shine.